everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a favorites video. I haven't filmed a favorites video for four months and that is because I just wasn't inspired enough to film a favorites video but this month I have a ton of favorites and I'm not exaggerating. A ton is maybe even an understatement because I have so many things that I want to talk about. So I cannot talk forever about each product. I have to be quick and I have to stop this intro right now and start talking about the products. The first one that I want to talk about is a spray primer thing. And this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And I don't know if it prolongs the wear of my makeup, but it makes whatever powder I put over top of my foundation look like it's part of my skin. Look like it's not just sitting on top and like looking awful, but it just makes it look like my skin is the complete opposite of powder it's kind of creamy and it looks more natural so i really really like this and i highly recommend this second product i want to talk about is on the floor and and it's a basically a foundation but it's a foundation combo i'm going to start off telling you that i love kojendo i think i love this kojendo aqua foundation even more ask me next week i might change my opinion but i like it even more than Guerlain Lingerie Depot, which is insane. This has been, Lingerie Depot has been my favorite foundation ever since I started wearing makeup. Nothing has come close to rivaling it or being better than it in my eyes. But this might be better. But this last week and a half, I'd like to say to two weeks, I've been obsessed with mixing it with a foundation that I got pretty recently and it's from the drugstore. This is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. Wow. And I have to admit that the L'Oreal foundations tend to run a little bit pink on me. So this neutralizes it and also gives it something extra. I cannot pinpoint exactly what makes this combo awesome, what makes it just like rock my socks but it's been doing this for me. It's, it's, been, it's been amazing. I love combining them together. They provide me with very nice luminosity since both, both of these foundations are very light and more on the luminous side of the spectrum. Very natural also, but they've, provided, they, but they've also provided my skin with the right amount of coverage, which is, which is like perfect. It's basically the best of both worlds, coverage and finish. They're really, really nice, and I highly recommend this combo, and I highly recommend this foundation in general. This, you have to be sure that you find a great color for you. Other than that, it's a very good foundation. Okay, enough on that. I forgot to tell you about a rediscovery, and I've rediscovered the, the Estee Lauder Illuminating, Illuminating Perfecting Primer. It's been a product that I've had in my collection on and off for the past three to four years. I really, really like it, but ever since I discovered the um, the Nivea Post Shave Balm in the sensitive version, it kind of replaced it, and I don't know why, because I think that this is better for my skin during the summer. That product, the Nivea one, was just a little bit too rich for my liking, so I didn't love it quite as much in the summer because it made my foundation break up quite easily. It made the Cogendo foundation a little less long lasting. And with this, I find that it lasts for 14 hours. And you might be wondering who wears the foundation for 14 hours. Let me tell you something. I have crazy long days. And sometimes I need to wear my foundation for very, very long. So this makes it possible. This makes my foundation perfect for 14 hours, which is insane. So I love it. I really, really do. Next, we have a powder that I've also rediscovered for... I've been using it for the last month and a half, maybe two months. And it's the Guerlain Loose Meteorites. I think this is still my favorite powder of all time. It's very luminous and it does something extra to my skin. It makes it more lively. It makes it look healthier. This is not by any means a setting powder. You do not apply it on your face to mattify it and make it long lasting. On the contrary, it's very luminous motorcycle. Um, this is gorgeous, 
gorgeous. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous product. It makes your face luminous, lively, healthy. And it. I think that on my skin, it's enough setting for me. But if you have oily skin, I really don't know how you'll feel about this. But if you have normal, maybe slightly combo, maybe dry, well, of course dry, then you'll love it. I'm sure. I'm sure you will. Anyway, moving on to contouring. I have been a contour like fanatic. I've been contouring every single day. There is not even a day where I don't contour. If I apply makeup, you bet that I'm going to apply a powder contour. I have three contouring products. Is this bad? Probably. But it's what I've been doing. I, I love contouring. The first contour product that I'm obsessed with is the Kevin Aquan um, Sculpting Powder in the shade Medium. I love this more than I love my children, which I don't have. Is this bad? Is this really, really awful? Probably yes. Maybe because I don't, I don't have two kids. That's why I'm saying this. But this is, if I could have one makeup product that I would make myself, I would want to make this because this is just awesome. I love it. So it's just perfect. I, I can't give you any concrete information on why I love it other than the fact that it's perfect. Other than that, I decided to purchase the Smashbox contouring palette and I don't love all of the powders here. I like these two. This one, I find it to be a little less finely milled and a little more noticeable on the skin. But these two are phenomenal. This is a perfect product to apply underneath your eyes and this is also a perfect product to apply as a contour bronzer hybrid. It's gorgeous. It has a very nice mirror and it, it, the half of the mirror is covered with like a, this instructions thing. I haven't tried to see if you can take it off because my acrylic nails are difficult. I don't know how to peel things off with acrylic nails. I don't regret having acrylic nails by any means. They're gorgeous, but I, I don't know if it's necessary for me to peel this off anyway. But stop rambling for a second. Let me tell you about this. This is the perfect product to lighten up your underneath underneath your eyes very very easy to blend they're a little bit powdery so if you if you tap your brush kind of roughly you're going to see that there's a little bit of powder kick off um, it's not ideal but it's it's gorgeous it's gorgeous regardless it's not better if you if you're looking for one contouring product to purchase Kevin Aquan and not this but if Kevin Aquan is a little bit too expensive for just one powder this is also very nice so I mean you make up your own mind I can't tell you which one to get but if it was up to me I would get the Kevin Aquan over and over again another contouring product that I've been loving I know it's embarrassing is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Sculptin Bronze what is this thing called Film Star Bronze and Glow yeah Sculptin Bronze that's not what this thing is called let me open it for a second. Mine is looking a little bit sad because the contouring product is kind of broken. But I have to say that it's what I have on my skin right now. I love it. It's gorgeous. I also love the highlighter. It's also what I have on, on top of my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, a little bit on the cupid's bow. I really, really, really like this thing. The powder, the bronzy powder is a little bit too fragile for me. But I still love it regardless, and I think it's very, very beautiful. Enough talking about that. Let's talk about some blushes. I love blushes. I have been obsessed with collecting blushes this year, and this year I've acquired quite a few. Out of the few that I've acquired, the ones that have been my favorites has been the Charlotte Tilbury um, Cheek to Cheek Swish and Pop Blusher in the color First Love. This thing is gorgeous. It's what I have on my cheeks right now. I find that if I have a little bit of a smoky eye or if I have really bold lips like today, this is the perfect blush to apply on those days and I really love it. I love the formula. I, I love the method that she recommends and I just, I just, it's a very good blush and it's very good if you have light skin. If you have dark skin, I'm not sure if this is going to show up in your skin, 
you might want to try this first, but if you have light skin, then sure, it's, it's really, really beautiful. Another blush that I've been obsessed with has been the Clinique Cheek Pop color, or cheek color, in the color 01 Ginger Pop. Finally, I can say that we have these mysteries. We only have the first four shades that Clinique came up with. So I decided to purchase um, this one, which is Ginger Pop. It's gorgeous. It's so healthy on your skin. It's like, it just makes your skin look like it's never been healthier ever in your entire life. I don't know what it does, but it's very flattering on any skin color, I think. Any skin color would benefit from this. I really like it. I love the formula. I mean, the packaging. I mean, it looks like a daisy. And if you don't like daisies, then you shouldn't, you shouldn't watch Driving Miss Daisy, you shouldn't watch You've Got Mail, what other movies are amazing, any movie with the name Daisy. Another blush is from the, from the drugstore, I feel like I've been talking about a ton of high-end products, let's balance it out with the drugstore product. This is the Pupa Luminous, Like a Doll Luminous Blush in the color 106. It's gorgeous, it's like this hot pink that's, that looks very healthy on the skin, and it's gorgeous, and I highly recommend it, and I think that you should totally wear it and buy it and love it and be obsessed with it because i am okay let's talk about bronzers it's summer and i love bronzing my skin and of course you know that i'm still in love with guerlain bronzers let me look at the pan smell it oh, i love it finally for the skin for complexion last complexion product i've been talking about complexion products for 13 minutes and a half can you believe it the last complexion product that i'm obsessed with is this highlighter. This is the Becca Champagne Pop, which is a collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. I've also been loving this highlighter also, just for the record. But this is gorgeous. Very, very gorgeous. I love how luminous it is. I mean, I don't know if you can see, but look at that. Like, it's just absolutely stunning. This is what it looks like on the back of my hand. It's so, 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 so beautiful. I highly, highly recommend it. Okay, enough talking about complexion products. Let's move on. Let's talk about some eye products. Okay, I'm going to start off with a product that I bought recently, and I have been really, really liking it. It's the MAC Prep and Prime 24-Hour Extended Base, Extended Eye Base. So basically, it's an eyeshadow primer. I love MAC Soft Ochre. I really, really do. But with acrylic nails, I cannot apply it in a way that it doesn't get stuck underneath my, my nails and it's completely gross, it grosses me out, it puts me off using it. So I decided to get one that's either in a tube or in a, like, a stick wand or something like that. This was definitely on my radar, I wanted to try it anyway, so I decided to go and get it. And I have to say that I really, really enjoy it. It's not tinted, it won't cancel out any discoloration on your eyelid, but if you apply, if you set it, with like a bone color or like a skin tone color it does exactly what MAC Soft Ochre does but it's it won't get underneath your nails which is perfect it's perfect it makes my eyeshadows last all day long I have nothing bad to say about this and I honestly think that it's a gorgeous product honestly so I really really like it and I highly recommend it speaking of making your eyeshadows last I have two eyeshadows that I want to talk about so much that I can't even wait the first one is from my Makeup Forever eyeshadows that I purchased. And I want to talk about this color over here. This is the M728. And I think it's called Copper Red. And I'm going to swatch it for you. I mean, look at this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's like this gorgeous, very warm, golden color that I honestly think is absolutely stunning. I love applying this all over my lid. And like also, I like to apply it with my fingers. I like to apply it over eyeliners that are golden or over another product that I'm going to talk about very, very soon. This is the color. This is what it looks like. It's absolutely stunning. And I think that every person who loves warm eyeshadows should get this eyeshadow because it's absolutely beautiful. It has like enough warmth on it. Like it looks like it's a coppery, orangey, golden color. It's very, very stunning and I highly recommend it. I've been wearing this a lot. 
very, very often, and I completely adore it. Speaking of golden eyeliners, though, um, let me talk about this. This is the Bourjois Waterproof Contour Clubbing Eyeliner in the shade Golden Dress. I talked about these in my top favorite, top five drugstore eye products. These eyeliners have been my favorite eyeliners that I've ever ever used in my entire life. I like them more than I like the Rimmel Scandalize or yeah, something like that eyeliners. They have two colors that I want to talk about today. The first one is of course Golden Dress because it's a golden one. And the second one is Crazy About Brown, which is like this warm bronzy color that's very, very gorgeous. Very, very, very beautiful. It, it looks like this. It's very nice. The pigmentation is gorgeous. They're very creamy and they're incredibly, incredibly, incredibly long lasting. You can smudge them out if you want, but you can only smudge them out for the first like 30 seconds. After that, they're going to, they're going to set and they won't budge for the entire day. They're gorgeous. Speaking of eyeliners, a crayon that you can use either as an eyeliner or as an eyeshadow has that I've been loving has been the Pupa Made to Last a Waterproof Eyeshadow in the shade 004. It's also one of those products that I love applying underneath the golden uh, eyeshadow from Makeup Forever. This is what it looks like. I don't, know, I don't know what else to say about it. It's very long lasting. It's very easy to apply. You can, you can smear it for, like you can smudge it for the first 20 to 30 seconds. Other than that, it's going to set and it will be long lasting for the entire day. I adore this part. Okay, let's talk about another eyeshadow that I love applying on my lash line. I love applying the Spupa Baked Eyeshadow in the shade 102, which is slightly on the orange side underneath my uh, lower lash line. Today, I don't really have it because I have a purple eyeshadow underneath. But if I had a different color on my lower lash line i guarantee you that it's going to be this this is what it looks like it's very pretty and i love the shine that it gives and i also love how soft the color is it's very very nice and it's soft for every day it's soft nice it's soft enough for every day basically so i really really like it finally for eyes i love i still love and i have to update you on this i love the girl on um, what is this called again? Seals d'Enfer. That's French. So volume mascara noir. So basically, this is the Guerlain. What is this thing called? I don't remember. I'm going to list it in the comments bar down below. Um, Maxi Lash. So volume. I think. If I could have a temple to praise the mascara. I'm going to be putting this as the mascara god or goddess because it's amazing. Finally, we have a ton of lip products. I have been loving two brands for lip products, MAC and Poopa. You saw a theme. I really like Poopa products. Today, I want to talk about Poopa lip liners. I talked about this, I feel... In a video recently I don't remember which one it was but this is the Pupa true lips lip liner in the shade 30 this is summer in a lip liner let me show you how bright and fun and vibrant this thing is I like applying this on a very particular lipstick which is the Pupa I'm Pupa lipstick in the color 103 which looks like this I'm going to also swatch it to show you that this one is not nearly as fun and vibrant as this, but together, let me show you, they make the best lip combo of life. It's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. I like applying them on top of each other separately. I don't know, I, whatever possibility I could have for applying lipsticks, I would I would do it because this thing is majestic it's gorgeous trucks motorcycles ugh, all the cars all the vehicles in the world pass while I'm filming videos if I'm not filming a video 
it will be so quiet outside once I start. Ugh, I hate it. Anyway, more on the Pupa Spectrum. I love these things. These are the Pupa Matte Liquid Lipsticks. These are called I'm Pupa Matte Lip Fluid. I have two shades, which are both nude. I have the shade 13 and I have the shade 11. I'm not going to swatch them because I would have them on my arm until tomorrow. And I hate that. I love them. These are my favorite liquid lipsticks that I've ever tried. I love how they feel. I love the colors. I love how long lasting they are. There's nothing bad I can say about them. I cannot fault them. They're perfect. And I think that if you have Pupa nearby, these liquid lipsticks are totally worth the try. Okay, last but not least, we have my recent obsession, which is really dark lips. I love four lipsticks for, or like basically three lipsticks and a lip liner for really, really dark lips. The lip liner is going to come as no surprise if you like dark lipsticks because it's one of those lip liners that are a must have if you love dark lips. This is MAC Night Moth, and I'm going to swatch it on my hand here this is basically what it looks like it looks black in the camera but i swear to you it's like a very dark purple it's stunning it's absolutely stunning i have it underneath my lipsticks today i think it's gorgeous honestly i don't think that mac lip liners are worth paying as much money as you would for them especially if you have amazing lip liners at the drugstore this color is not a color that you find quite as easily as you would if you just go to a Mac store. So I think that it's definitely worth purchasing even though it's not a unique product in terms of formula, but it's just the color that makes it so such a must have if you like dark lips. Now let's talk about the lipsticks that I love for dark lips. I love, 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 love Mac Smoked Purple. I love it. It's matte and it's a little bit on the drying side like it's just a little bit too dry but it's absolutely gorgeous it is what i have on my lip today along with something else of course because i'm high maintenance but it's absolutely stunning it's long lasting it will not budge on your mouth throughout the entire day if you have a lip liner and if you have if you have this you're you're gonna have dark lips for the entire day my friend it's gorgeous also, on the dark lipsticks realm, I love MAC Cyber. This lipstick is a satin, so it's more creamy, not as long-lasting as a matte lipstick is. So, let me swatch it and show you. It's less um, full coverage than the other one, but like they're both gorgeous. It's not what I have on my lips today because I have something else. I told you I'm very high maintenance. I have this Topshop uh, lipstick in the color depth. And what I like about this is that it's just ever so slightly warmer than Cyber. I don't know if you can tell the difference on camera. The formulation on both of these is very similar because this is also like a satiny, creamy lipstick. It's not as long lasting, but if you apply it over something matte, like the MAC uh, Smoked Purple, it's going to be long lasting too. So I really, really like it. Anyway, I'm done with my favorites video. It's, it's been long over to I know and I apologize and if you'd like to see more favorites video like let me know because honestly I can do them it's not that I can't but it's just that sometimes they're not, I don't find them to be as interesting maybe I'm just over this whole trend I really don't know but if you if you are interested in them then let me know because I can do them it's not that I can't film favorites video at all it's just not I don't choose to do it so that makes any sense. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to watch more videos to come in the future. And I hope to see you all very, very soon. Leave me your comments down below. Let me know like a few of your favorite products of all time because I'm interested in trying more things. I want to make a cult beauty or a beauty list purchase. So if you have any recommendations, please let me know. I want to get the Renaissance Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia and a few other things so let me know what other things i should get thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the very next video bye